Yo, what's up guys, this is Yusuf here from TechDroids and I'm gonna keep this video simple because Intel has come out with their Coffee Lake or 8th generation of CPUs finally. So this is all you need to know. So we're gonna be talking about all the CPUs, their details, their pricing, specifications, also some of the changes that this new Coffee Lake thing brings over KB Lake and what you need to know about the new Z300 series of chipsets or motherboards and at the end of the video a summary on what Coffee Lake is all about. So this is a video for the people who understand tech and also people who are understanding tech but don't want to get too technical. So yeah, let's get on with it. Intel has not launched all the CPUs that will be available in Coffee Lake. They've only launched six CPUs right now. So starting off with the Intel Core i3, the i3-8350K will feature overclocking and is unlocked, four cores, four threads, six megabytes of level three cache, and also comes clocked with four gigahertz. And you'll have a better iGPU and a price tag of about 168 US dollars. So pretty affordable, I guess. And you're getting four cores from Intel. So maybe it's worth it for that budget gamers. And you'll also have your Intel i3-8100. So if you wanna know the specs for all the CPUs I talk about in this video, go check it out in the description. They're all there. And moving on to the i5s, you'll have six cores, six threads. The i5-8600K retails for 252 US dollars. So only a couple of bucks over what, you know, last year's i5 costed. And you'll have, again, six cores, six threads. Clocked at 3.5 gigahertz, boost up to 4.2, in which one of the cores will be at 4.3. Better iGPUs, nine megabytes of level three cache. And that's about it for the i5-8600K. Moving on to the i7, you'll have your i7-8700K and the i7-8700. So the K model features overclocking and it's unlocked and also features hyperthreading. So six cores and 12 threads, 12 megabytes of level three cache, clocked at 3.7 on the base, 4.3 on the boost, and one of the cores will be at 4.7 gigahertz. And it will retail for 359 US dollars. So kind of expensive, but still you're getting six cores for the first time. And I guess the you know performance increase will make the extra money worth it. And with the i7 as well, you have better iGPUs and better overclocking support. And all these CPUs have the same TDP. The i5 and i7 have 95 watts and the i3 has a 91 watt TDP. So they're not taking any more power than last year's CPUs. Now coming with, again, more similarities. All the CPUs in Coffee Lake will be manufactured on the 14 nanometer plus plus technology. They'll all have, you know, Optane memory support. They'll all have 2666 megahertz DDR4 memory natively. And they'll also have some, you know, video codecs such as HEVC 10 bit and also HDR and Rec 2020 and so many others. Again, linked in the description down below for content creators and people who actually want to know so better content creation. And now moving on to the Z300, you know, chipset and the Z300 motherboards, you will not be able to use Coffee Lake with the previous motherboards, no matter what you have. And also they're not backwards compatible. So you'll have to get the new ones. Still, they are working on the LG 1151 socket type, but Intel, you know, claims that the power delivery and the, you know, what do you say, internal design has changed for the CPU. So you need more power and better motherboards. So Z370 is here and also Z300 will be available next year or later down this year. So you'll have to get new motherboards if you want to upgrade to Coffee Lake. So these new motherboards will offer Intel Optane memory support, more PCI lanes so you can you know expand the functionality. Bluetooth 5, Wi-Fi or AC Wi-Fi, I should say, Intel Optane memory support out of the box, USB 3.1 Gen 2, and also better overclocking, better power delivery, more stability, and that's it, better IO, I guess, DisplayPort, HDMI, and also DVI. Some of the manufacturers are already out with their motherboards, especially the Z370 ones and the Z300 ones will also be out soon, I guess. And that's all you need to know about the motherboards and the CPUs. Now let's come to a summary of what's new with Intel Coffee Lake. So here it is. So with Intel Coffee Lake, you're getting more cores, you're getting enhanced overclocking, you're getting better design from previous CPUs, you're getting more Intel smart cache, something Intel is claiming. But again, those are all the things that, you know, companies claim. And all the CPUs are made on the 14 nanometer plus plus technology. They all support DDR4, 2666 megahertz, Intel Optane memory, Bluetooth 5, AC Wi-Fi. You also have HDR, Rec 2020, and more formats, video encoding and decoding for content creators, and also integrated USB 3.1 Gen 2 support. Better overclocking, better content creation experience, more multi-thread performance, and overall better performance for you guys. And that's been it. I hope this one was simple to understand. So if you thought this video was you know, informative or helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, have a good day.